It is activity time and we're going to do lots of poems today. So we're going to need your help, boys and girls watching, and I'm going to need your help in here too. And you know what time it is? It's time to do the big clock. So class stamp, let's do it together. Slowly ticks the big clock, tick, tock, tick, tock, but cuckoo clock ticks double quick, tick, tock, tick, tock, tickety tock. Good. Now this one, you need to sit in your chair for. Let's do Humpty Dumpty. Are you ready? Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men could have put Humpty together again. Good job. Stand up back in your chair. Oh, that was fun. Good job. I like Humpty Dumpty, but I'm glad you're not like an egg. I'm glad you don't break when you fall on the floor. Good job. Well, let's do hands on shoulders. Class Sam, got your hands ready? Let's do it together. Hands on shoulders, hands on knees, hands behind you if you please. Hand, touch your shoulders, now your nose, now your hair, now your toes. Hands up high in the air, now at your side, now touch your hair. Hands up high as before, now clap your hands. One, two, three, four. Ooh, we're getting lots of wiggles out today. I like it. You may be seated. Hmm, I think I need the girls watching and all the girls right here. Come get in a line right here. Good job. All right, come get in a straight line. I'm going to, oh, careful. I'm going to tiptoe over on this side. Girls watching and girls right here. Just the girls are going to do it. Boys, we're going to watch them do it. Will you tell me about a bunny rabbit? Tell me about the bunny rabbit. Tall. watching a round of applause because they did that with you. Nice. Good job. Hop back to your seat like bunny rabbits. I'll let you hop back. Wow. Great. Girls watching, did you hop to your chair? Good. I like that hard work. Well, let's see what other poem we could do today. Oh, this is a good one. We just talked about in our Bible lesson about those people that came from England to America. What were they called? The pilgrims. Why did they come to America, Luke? So they could do what? Stan, tell me. Yeah, so they could pray to God and learn more about God the way that God wants us to do that. So let's talk about how God helped the pilgrims by Janice Sherwin. Remember that? <laughs> Our poem is called God Helped the Pilgrims by Janice Sherwin. Stan? And you do it with me. We learned this one in our last time, in our last lesson when we did poems. So maybe you could help me remember this one. We'll do it two times so you can help me remember. Are you ready? Here we go. Get out your ship. Ready? God helped the pilgrim ship to sail safely through the storm. God helped the Indian friends to help them hunt. Use your bow and arrow. Hunt and plant some corn. The pilgrims wanted to give thanks, so they took time to pray. And Indian friends joined in the feast that first Thanksgiving day. All right, now that we reviewed it, let's try it again. Connor, will you stand and join us? Boys and girls watching, you got your ship? Here we go. God helped the pilgrim ship to sail safely through the storm. God gave the Indian friends to help them hunt and plant some corn. The pilgrims wanted to give thanks, so they took time to pray. And the Indian friends joined in the feast that first Thanksgiving day. Nice job. Get out your leaves. Down, down, yellow and brown, the leaves are falling all over the town. Great. Sit down. You are working hard. Boys and girls watching, did you get your leaves? Are they falling everywhere? Good. I like that. All right. Let's see what other poem we could do today. Hmm. I got lots of poem in these fun poem books that we have. Oh, oh, this one's fun. Hmm. Holding hands. I wonder what this poem was talking about. Okay. 
It is. It's time. Are they really holding hands? No. No, they're not really holding hands. They're holding their trunks and their tails. Their trunks and their tails. Let's pretend. Are you ready? How about we do this? Let's see. Table two, come to the front. Show me how your trunks and your tails. Let's see. We'll let Carter be first. Let's see. Turn this way. Okay, stick your tail out back here. You grab your trunk, hold his tail. You make your tail, hold this trunk right here. There you go. All right, here we go. And you get to walk around table two while we do this poem. Class, stand and let's do it together. Elephants walking along the trail. Oh, stand and join me. Stand up, let's do it. Elephants walking along the trails are holding hands by holding tails. Trunks and tails are handy things. Oh, how come I'm the only one saying it and the boys and girls watching? Say it with me. Trunks and tails are handy things when elephants walk and circus ring. Elephants work and elephants play and elephants swim and, and bathe each day. And when they walk, it never fails. They're holding hands by holding tails. Well, now you joined me. All right, table two, sit down. Now let's do it together by just standing up and doing it together. Are you ready? Stand up. All right, here we go. Get out your trunks. Elephants walking along the trails are holding hands by holding tails. Trunks and tails are handy things when elephants walk in circus rings. Elephants work and elephants play and elephants bathe and swim each day. And when they walk, it never fails. They're holding hands by holding tails. Good. Sit down. Oh, that was fun to pretend to be an elephant. Oh, that is so much fun. Hmm. Let's see who I could pick. The boys from table three come right here. And William from table one. And the girls from table one and the girls from table three come. All right. Oops. So I want you to face this way. So girls watching, you're going to join with the girls over here. And boys watching, you're going to join right here. So boys, you start us off with our poem about one, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Begin. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. sit down. Table one, why don't you come and help us do that one? That one was fun. So the girls come over here, or table two. Girls come over here, and the boys over here. That was fun. Let's try that again. And boys and girls, this time, the girls are going to start us, and the boys are going to do the other side. So girls, we're flipping it. So here we go. All right. Girls, you start. One, two, three. Girls can go fishing too, can't they? All right, go back to your seats. Oh, that was so, oh, just one kiss. That was so much fun. Well, I have a new poem for you today. So listen to this poem. Let me find it. Oh, you're going to like this poem. It's called My Gift. What's it called? My it's Gift. It's called My Gift by Christina Rossetti. Say My Gift by Christina Rossetti. My Gift by Christina Rossetti. Oh, I need everybody to help me say that. The boys and girls watching, thank you for when my sister asked you to do something. You are so diligent. I appreciate that. Boys and girls watching, will you say it with me? Or boys and girls right here, say it with me. My Gift by Christina Rossetti. Good. All right. Hands on your lap. Sit up straight and tall so I can share this poem about you. Look at this right here. Let's look at the picture real quick. Do you see that picture? That picture is a picture of a what, Bethany? David. It does look like the picture of David that we have in our Bible story, doesn't it? And what was David, what was his job, William? Stand and tell me. Protect the sheep. He was. He protected the sheep. So his job was what, Cyrus? A what? Well, was he a farmer? No. Was he a doctor? 
What was he? He was a... A shepherd. A shepherd. See, you did know it. A shepherd. A shepherd is somebody who takes care of the sheep. So I want you to listen to this poem called My Gift. <laughs> My Gift. What can I give him, poor as I am? If I were a shepherd, I'd give him a lamb. If I were a wise man, I would do my part. But what could I give him? I would give him my heart. Listen again. My gift by Christina Rossetti. What could I give him, poor as I am? If I were a shepherd, I'd give him a lamb. If I were a wise man, I would do my part. But what could I give him? I will give him my heart. Now, listen to the words. What could I give him? Who do you think the him is in our poem? Jesus. It is. It's Jesus. Mm -hmm, Jesus. As poor as I am, if I were a shepherd, I'd give him a lamb. If I were a wise man, I would do my part. But what could I give him? I would give him my heart. That's what Jesus wants you to give him. Did you know that? He wants you to give him your heart. He wants you to ask him to take away those sins that we do, those bad things, and tell him you want him to be your savior. Do you know that you could do that? It doesn't matter how old you are. You could be Mrs. Stewart's age. That's pretty old. You could be four years old. You could be five-year-old. It doesn't matter. As long as you know that Jesus is who? God. And that he came to take their punishment for your sins. And that he would take away those sins and make it all white as snow again. Then you could ask him to be your savior. And do you know he will? He will not tell you no. He will say, yes, I will be your savior. And he can be your shepherd and you will be one of his little sheep. And you could give him your heart. That would be the best gift that you could give Jesus. So that's what it's talking about. My gift by Christina Rossetti. Let's see if you can help me with this poem. So watch my words and my motions. Are you ready? Watch the Listen to my words and watch my motions. Watch me. My gift, um, Myla, are you ready to see? Okay, good. My gift by Christina Rossetti. What could I give him as poor as I am? If I were a shepherd, I'd give him a lamb. If I were a wise man, I would do my part. But what could I give him? I'd give him my heart. Your turn. Last stand. Let's say it together. My gift by Christina Rossetti. Go like this. What could I give him, poor as I am? If I were a shepherd, I'd give him a lamb. If I were a wise man, I would do my part. But what could I give him? I'd give him my heart. Oh, let's say that again. My gift by Christina Rossetti. Oh, that sounds so nice, boys and girls watching. Let's do it again. My gift by Christina Rossetti. What could I give him as poor as I am? If I were a shepherd, I'd give him a lamb. If I were a wise man, I'd do my part. But what could I give him? I'd give him my heart. Oh, that's so nice. You may be seated. Oh, I love that poem. That is so nice. My gift by Christina Rossetti. Let's say our pilgrim poem again, because you could say this poem when you're having your Thanksgiving. Stand up and let's say it together. Are you ready? God Help the Pilgrims by Janice Sherwin. Here we go. God Help the Pilgrims ship to sail safely through the storm. God gave them Indian friends to help them hunt and plant some corn. The pilgrims wanted to give thanks, so they took time to pray, and the Indian friends joined the feast on that first Thanksgiving day. Oh, that was so nice. I heard lots of friends right here, and I heard the ones that are watching. I hope all my friends will join me in there. Good job, you may be seated. Hmm. Well, I wonder if you could help me with something really fast. Could you help me with something fun? We have acted out lots of stories, lots of drama we've had in our classroom. This morning, we cut out something fun. What did we cut out? A gingerbread, A gingerbread man. Get out your gingerbread man. Boys and girls watching, you get your gingerbread man out. Put it on your name tag or right there in front of you. You can just, boys and girls watching, you can just, if you don't have a name tag, just put it right in front of your table. Angelina, make sure your chair is right by your table because you're going to want to be able to reach your gingerbread man when it's time. All right, 
Make sure your hands are in your lap and your eyes are right here. We're going to play with our gingerbread man. Now, we're going to talk about our gingerbread story really fast. And every time we say, you can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man, you're going to pick up your gingerbread man and you're going to go like this. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. But you're not going to show it to me. You're going to show it to your friends watching and they're going to show you theirs. So boys and girls watching, you get yours ready too. Are you ready? So you're going to stand up when it's time and show them yours, and you're going to go like this with it, just like we do with our Bible cards. Are you ready? So once upon a time, there was a little old woman and a little old man, and the little old woman wanted to make some cookies for, oh, wait, for the little old man. So she decided to make gingerbread, gingerbread man. So she made the gingerbread, and she rolled it out. Not yet. And she cut it out, and she cut it into a little man shape, and she put on buttons and she put on eyes and she gave him fun little bow tie and she put it in the oven and she went to check on it to see how it was doing and when she opened it up what happened it popped out it popped out and what did it say it said you can't catch me i'm the gingerbread man Good job, sit down. And out the gingerbread man went and ran out the door and ran down the street. And the little old man and the little old woman ran after it. Well, they couldn't catch him. But the little gingerbread man came into the forest where there was a farmer. And the farmer was chopping down some trees. And the farmer said, ooh, there was a gingerbread man and he looks delicious. But the gingerbread man said, oh, I ran away from the little woman, and I ran away from the little man, and I'll run away from you because I'm the gingerbread man. Say, you can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. That's right. And then he ran faster and faster, and he came across a pig. And the pig said, oink, oink, I see a gingerbread man, and you look delicious. And he said, I ran away from a little old woman and a little old man and i ran away from the farmer and i'll run away from you stand up because I'm I'm the gingerbread man. Man. good job you may be seated and then he went even faster and ran as fast as he could and he came across the wheat cutters and they were out there cutting the wheat and they said mm, we're hungry. I see a gingerbread man. But he said, I ran away from the little old woman and the little old man. and the farmer and the pig. pig. And I'll run away from you because I'm the gingerbread man. I'm the gingerbread man. I'll run as fast as I can because I'm the gingerbread man. Well, he came, he went through a whole bunch of different people and different animals, and they couldn't catch him because he's the gingerbread man. But he came across the sly old fox. And the sly old fox saw him at the edge of the bank of the river, and he said, I want to get across, but I don't want to get wet. So that sly old fox said, well, just jump on my back. And he said, oh, no, because you're going to want to eat me. And he said, no, I've already had my breakfast and my lunch. I'm not hungry. I'm so full. Was he telling the truth? No, he was telling the lie. He was. He was trying to like chick. Haman. Yes, like Haman, you're right. And he was trying to trick that gingerbread man because he wanted to eat him. So he told him to get on his back. So he jumped on his back, and they went over the water, and he got deeper and deeper. And pretty soon he said, oh, no, you're going to get my legs wet. So he said, go, go jump on top of my shoulders. So he got on his shoulders. But then he started to get deeper in the water, and he said, oh, no, you're going to get my gum drop buttons wet. So he said, jump on my head. And when he jumped on his head, he got up there. And what did that sly old wolf do? He slipped his head up. He slipped his head up and up the gingerbread man went. So pick up your gingerbread man and put him in the air like this. And what happened to him? He fell in his mouth. He fell into his mouth. So take a big bite. Mm. And turn and face your friend and tell him what happened. And that was the end of the gingerbread man. Good job. You may be seated. Oh, that was so much fun. Go ahead and put your gingerbread man away. Boys and girls watching, did you have fun playing with your gingerbread man? Oh, we had fun and taking that big bite. So when you go home today, you 
tell your mommies and daddies the story of the gingerbread man and you can use your fun gingerbread man you cut out today. Oh, keep having fun today.